What's up everybody, welcome back to the Bee Life. Today we are headed to Fort Jackson, just outside of Savannah, and I have my partner with me, Rad Kid. Hi. All right, Fort Jackson is located way out, not really. It's located just outside the city to the east of downtown. And as you saw, there's lots of uh, trees. It's a tree-lined road to get there, but there's good signage. You can see it, you can find it. Let's take a look. So you'll know you're there when you see the big signs that say Old Fort Jackson. <laughs> Fort Jackson is not a big fort by any stretch of the imagination. Fort Pulaski, in comparison, is massive for the time, but serves a purpose. Anyways, they do do live demonstrations. A gentleman you just saw in the Civil War outfit uh, talking about history. They do cannon firing, we'll try to get that. So it's very interactive. Let's see what's in here. Your banjos. I do hear banjos. You can hear over the banjo music. This is one of the uh, old casemates, I think they call. Now here's one of the firing ports for a cannon. This is the main moat that we came in. Another spot for rifles and cannons. So the thing I'm calling a casemate is the main powder magazine. Built during the 1850s construction phase, this magazine was used to store the black powder it needs for the fort's cannons. All right. Haunted forts in the area. I'm not going in after him. Sorry, bye. So these all connect all the way around. Right now we're on the second level of the fort, the top. This was added later on, but it has a great vantage point, obviously. If you're gonna be firing out on the river, you're gonna need guns up high. The roof we're on is, uh, what's the word I want here? Aftermarket, I guess. And it's made of a modern material. It's not the brick. I think it was replaced uh, just because the original roof was failing. There's a cool little guard check, casemate, barber, and here is an overview of the fort. from Savannah chapter number two, the United Daughters of the Confederacy. I wish I had my own cannon that I could loan to people. Just remember a tour of the fort can wear out the youngest of us. We found ourselves the enlisted privy and or bathroom as it's called. It'll be down there and it's currently under construction. No ghost encounters yet. I know you guys seem to love it when I get freaked out with ghosts in my famous moves. Alright, I'm in one of the bathrooms, strangely enough, but this is an original. Trivia, but this was something. It's kind of creepy. Got a creepy vibe. Go back over there with you so we can see again. Yeah. 
scary in there? Yes. Did it look like it was from the 80s? Yes. Not the 1880s? No, but the bathroom the 1780s? Is Stop! The 1980s? Stop it! Yeah, I might be. I did forget to uh, cover my ears. That so if you're in Savannah and you want something to do outside of the cities, Fort Jackson is a really cool place to go. It's small, it's easy to tour. This whole thing could take less than an hour if you wanted to, maybe an hour and a half if you stop and read everything. But it's it's good. It's a good trip. It's really neat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. And we'll see you soon.